Hey everyone, I'm here with another gift guide. Every year I do a gift guide for teenage boys or young adult men, and occasionally I also do one for just men. This year I'm combining them into one video because a lot of what works for one group works for the other. There's quite a bit of overlap. Obviously, depending on the age of the person you're giving the gift to, some of these are less appropriate or completely inappropriate. So. I think it should go without saying, just judge for yourself which group you're buying for and you know, if it's something to do with alcohol, clearly not meant for the teenage boy, it's something for them to look forward to. All right, let's dive in. As far as teenage boys go, the number one most requested gift from them, from the ones that I have pulled, is money. Just real money. Whether it's actual dollar bills or however, whatever form you enjoy giving money in, check, Visa gift card, Venmo it, whatever, they want money. They don't love shopping for themselves, which makes gift giving for them particularly difficult, especially because as much as they resist shopping, they also resist telling us what they want, but they have specific ones. They just give them money, they can just take care of it themselves, and they're very grateful for it. That's the feedback I've been getting. Number two most requested thing for the teen boys, college boys, and probably adult men, I don't know how many will admit it, They want that new PS5, PlayStation 5. Some want that new Xbox, but way more from what I've heard uh, want the PlayStation 5. Well, that's all well and good. Good luck to you if you can find it. I have nowhere to link it to. It's impossible to get your hands on. So if you do get your hands on a PlayStation 5, you win the award for best giver, gift giver of 2020. I do have a list that I typed out. So I am gonna just go down this list because I don't wanna skip over anything. LED strip lights. Now this is definitely geared for the younger demographic here. They are all the rage. Shane has them in his room at home and in his apartment. High school and college boys love to decorate their room using LED strip lights. I'll admit it looks kind of cool. There are all kinds of options. I will list a few that I have found that I know are good down in the description box. Everything that I have actual hard links to other than that PlayStation 5, I will link down below. Obviously I can't link you to money. Wouldn't that be fun if you could buy money? Anyway, getting off on a tangent. So LED strip lights, and it's also a very budget-friendly gift, and they're a lot of fun. Let's talk about cozy stuff, because cozy loungewear and cozy things are not just relegated to one gender or the other. Guys love to get cozy too. I know most guys love a nice pair of joggers, especially to lounge around in in the house, whether they're playing video games or watching games on TV, not video games, sporting events. They love a good pair of joggers. There are a bunch of different options at different price points. It just depends on what you wanna buy. We've had great luck with the joggers on Good Threads. That's an Amazon house brand. Under Armour, Nike, every retailer that probably sells men's clothes has a version of joggers. You can't go wrong with a basic pair in black, gray, or navy. Along with the loungewear, I would recommend a nice pair of slippers. I've recommended these from year to year and I have done gift guides like I mentioned previously. I will link the ones I've done before for men and boys down in the description box and up in that eye. But you just can't go wrong with a nice pair of slippers. And again, depending on what your budget is, there's different options. Ugg has a great pair that they now have in both a leather and a suede. They look like a, like a driving moccasin. I think they're pretty sophisticated looking. I've seen some really nice ones at a more budget friendly price on Amazon. I'll list them both in the description box for you. But along with that, I would also recommend, it's a little bit of a splurge, the Barefoot Dreams Throw Blankets. Now, they come in all kinds of patterns and solid color, so you don't have to go with the leopard print that every blogger has artfully placed somewhere in their Instagram feed, myself included. You can get a solid colored one. You can get, I think in years past, I've seen like a herringbone print, a little more masculine edge to it. They love wrapping themselves in a nice cozy blanket as much as the next person, and that's definitely an item that they most men or boys are not going to buy for themselves. This year they even came out with a camo print in black and gray, which I think would be fabulous for a college room, a first apartment. I think it's a really great gift. Let's get the one specific adult item out of the way. I actually ordered these as a gift for Michael. I'm gonna share what I, some of the things I got for him because he's not actually in the room and he never watches my videos, so he has no idea what I'm talking about. Years ago, we went on a trip to Scotland, and ever since then, he's definitely become a little bit of a whiskey connoisseur, and one of the things that he's mentioned would be kind of neat to have is like one of those, how do I describe them, specialty ice cubes. You've seen them in like all the cool cocktails, like the giant one 
perfect sphere of crystal ice or now they have the giant square one cubes as well. Well, there are a set of ice cube trays I found on Amazon and it's two, two sets of trays in the set, one for the giant cubes and one for the giant spheres. And it's a really, it could be a great stocking stuffer, white elephant gift for just about anybody, secret Santa get kind of gift. And I just want to share that the key I have been told to getting the most crystal clear ice is to use distilled water when you freeze them. Every man in my family has this next thing. I'm going to insert a picture because I don't have one handy. It is the one blade. It is a razor blade. Actually, I was with Michael when he purchased his and the sales assistant said that she stole her boyfriend's because she finds it very handy to use on herself. Let's just leave it at that. It's great for trimming up the edges of a beard, shaving in general. And it's just so handy and it gets such a nice close shave. So all three men slash boys in my family love theirs and use them. So it makes a great gift, obviously for the holidays, but it's also a great idea for college or high school graduation coming up in just a few short months. Okay, this is totally random, but this was sent to me recently and I thought this would make a really fun gift. So this is from Rode and it is a basically a podcasting microphone. I mean, you can use it for anything. I'm going to personally use it for voiceovers, but it is a studio quality USB, mini USB microphone. So it just uses a USB to plug into whatever device you're using to record. And podcasting is all the rage. Anybody with a microphone and a laptop basically can start their own podcast. And I know a lot of guys are getting into it. There's all kinds of topics to talk about. And I just, I love it. As someone who started with YouTube, over 10 years ago, which is a little Nikon Coolpix camera propped up on a canister. I love that anybody with a microphone can start their own podcast. It's like the next wave of the next kind of YouTube thing. And they're not crazy expensive, but the quality is incredible. I do use Rode microphones myself for, well, that's how you hear me right now. So I just think it makes for a great gift for a man, a teen boy, well, anyone really. And I just wanted to mention this. And staying on the topic of electronics, headphones are always a thing. I have mentioned gaming headphones, I think last year, and obviously everyone is familiar with AirPods and AirPods Pro, but I personally have found that mine don't always stay in my ear. And Michael and Jake, if you don't know who I am, my husband and my oldest son, I both decided not to get AirPods or AirPod Pros and go with something that it's still wireless, but it fits around the ear. So whether they're playing golf, running, whatever, they don't fall out of their ears. I'll list them all down in the description box in order of luxury, mid-range, and very budget-friendly. We have all three pairs, and I can assure you that all of them work really well. My husband wants to say that he uses the budget-friendly ones. I think they're like $30, and he can play an entire round of golf and they have not fallen out of his ears. So that's his personal recommendation. A little fun gift that is actually hanging in my youngest son's room. Guys can be such movie buffs. And I am I know I'm generalizing. I'm not saying that only guys are like this. I know plenty of women that are movie buffs too. But this is a gift guide for guys, so we're sticking with that theme. There is a poster hanging in Shane's room that is it's just fun. It is, I think it's the, the 100 best movies or 100 classic movies and you rub it off as you, each one off as you watch them. And the goal obviously is to have seen all 100 videos or movies. I think it's just a fun idea. It's again, more of a budget friendly gift. And it's, it's, a, it's an activity that you can do no matter what else is going on in the world. And it's also home decor. So you're ticking off a few boxes. Here is another gift idea that I'm actually getting for my husband. He is a huge guitar playing fanatic. He is in his office playing on one of his guitars from his huge collection pretty much every evening. And one of the things that I stumbled across was this thing called Masterclass. I actually found it when I was looking to figure out how to build on some skills that I was interested in learning. And they have one of the sections of where you can sign up to take a class from a master is guitar playing. And I can't remember the guy's name. Some guitar genius, like rock star guy. His first name is Tom. I think he's in Smashing Pumpkins or Rage Against the Machine. Anyway, he's, he's supposed to be just an amazing electric guitar player. 
is offering a master class. There is some sort of master offering all kinds of classes. If you're into cooking there's a, and running a restaurant, Gordon Ramsay has a class. Um, they have filmmakers offering classes. They have business people offering classes. So there is a class pretty much for every topic you can imagine. But for the guitar buffs, like the one that I happen to be married to, I thought it'd be pretty cool for him to take a master class. And I think if you, I could be wrong, so please check on that link, but I think if you purchase one of the classes as a gift, you get one, like if, another one free. So one for you and one for the recipient, which I think is pretty neat. And there's some really amazingly interesting, famous people offering really cool classes. Like Carlos Santana is offering a class on like the soul of playing the guitar. Reba McIntyre offers a class on country music singing. I mean, Christina Aguilera has a singing class in there. I mean, it's, and they have trailers so you can kind of preview the class and they have a little like two minute sample class. I found it fascinating and it took me a long time to get myself off of that site and get back to work because just so many really cool things that they have offered there. I have two more gift ideas to offer you and then I'm going to say goodbye. The first one is not groundbreaking, but it's that tile, I think they call it Tile Pro. You can stick it like on your phone, you can put it in your wallet, your keys, anything that you happen to lose. I've been giving these as gifts for years and I have seen them in action. I actually saw one of my kids use it to locate, I think it was their phone or their wallet because there's an app on your phone, so don't lose your phone. Uh, so you, you activate the app on your phone and then it'll ding it or I don't know, but somehow you can find whatever it is that you're looking for. I think it's a brilliant idea. It makes a great gift for literally anyone for any occasion, but especially now in the holidays when people are getting a lot of stuff that they don't wanna lose, it's a nice little gift to have. And the last gift idea I have for you is not exactly groundbreaking, but it is something that a couple of people in my family have requested. I was like, I'm putting it on the list. And that is a bedside charging stand because everyone has multiple devices. Most of us in my family have, obviously we have a phone, we have some sort of chargeable headphones, Apple watches, what have you, you get stuff all over the place. I have a bedside charger. I find it indispensable. I can have all three of those items in one place. I also have a tablet or an iPad in this case. So a nice bedside nightstand charger for the all the devices is something that's really appreciated. And again, one of those things that they might not think to buy for themselves, but would really enjoy getting as a gift. That's it from me. As always, I really appreciate getting the insight and feedback from all of you. So please, if you have great gift ideas for men or boys, teen boys, please leave them in the comments below. As always, these are just general ideas. There are so many great options out there. You know, the usual things like gift cards to their favorite restaurants, whatever their specific hobbies are. You know, a lot of men seem to have more hobby driven interests. So go with that. There's, you know, for the adult men, the beer of the month club, wine club, whiskey club. Those are always really well received. There's just so many great ideas. Go ahead and give yours down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope I have alleviated some of your gift giving stress and I will see you in the next video. Bye.